If there's a huge fleet waiting for me down there, then yeah, massive problem to say the least that would be. But I, at the moment I feel as if I have to risk it and come down here. If I can't end the war, I need to do more damage on them. So, that's what I might very well do. Okay. There's a risk that I could, uh, if I move down there, they could be coming up with a fleet and it bypasses me. That would be a problem as well. I think my engine tech might be slightly better than theirs at the moment. I can come over here. Transport come down there. There's the stuff I wouldn't mind buying a factory, but uh, yeah, I'm out of money, aren't I? So let's end the turn. Okay. Not sure why the humans aren't colonizing one of the systems that could be coming down here to colonize. Alright, so Yarn Prime grew. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, hang on a second. I think this guy works for every planet within a system. For a second I thought I'd stick, a, stick him on his planet, but it, yeah, it's a whole system. Uh, I might be able to take advantage of that, actually. If I colonize a lot in one system. I wonder if the research bonus guy is local as well, or if it's uh, global. Don't know. Alright, so let's... Uh, Focus on production a bit more there. Right, threatening fleets, where to? Right, Space Dragon, thanks for telling me about that game. Uh, destroyers up here, frigates, nothing much. How about that one? Nothing special? Yeah, um, I could go after them. Well, if I was a piece of the sector, I could go after the Martians, but I'm not. Uh, right, so this place is getting really friggin' great now. Let's. What am I making then? Uh, pro I'm gonna have to get some anti pollution buildings in here. So, let's get the atmospheric renewer. I don't think that's worthwhile making that. It's only probably worthwhile on the toxic planet. I'll get that one in. Right. to buy, if anything. There's a factory there. There's a factory there. Should we buy that? Making okay money at the moment, actually. Alright, uh, so let's stick in uh, that in the list. Next. Okay. And yeah, let's have a look. Let's see how the Sakura fleet is looking like. That's actually gone down a lot. Uh, the Tyrants attacked them, didn't they? So it's come down a lot actually, but uh, still a long way ahead of mine. But good nonetheless. Okay, when's my destroyer I'm making coming? Three turns. Hopefully, can start making some cruises on here in the not too distant future. Okay, let's send a turn. Get actually a production building coming in next turn. 
Okay, we got a level up. Uh, right, so this is Anna North. I'm gonna want on her the Empire research. It's far more valuable. It's gotta be. So confirm. Right. And right, that's good. Even without me, our scientists have made a new discovery. Got powered armor, so that's better. Marines. Armor backs is probably useless as defensive build, and I don't ex intend to do much on the defense. Uh, Rubber mine is crucial tech, though. So that's the tech I bought earlier on. Would like. Oh, actually, I think they might have the same engines as uh, me, the Sakura. I think I have a 40% boost, and so do they. Uh, if I wanted more of a boost, though, to my engines, I could go for that, but it's a long time before I get it. Uh, in the meantime, then, uh, there's a radiation shield, that amazing planet, not too far away from me, needs one of those. Uh, there's a sign on missile down there, and there's that, which is rather good. And also, there's a couple of key production tanks here, which I definitely need with a the Cylon. There's one more research building up there. A star spaceport, I should say, for more money there, but it's not amazing. So, um, I think I'm gonna go for that for the time being. Did that give me more command points. Oh, that scanner's huge, actually. I definitely want that. Mass drivers would be more valuable. Mass drivers are. Mass drivers are actually in many ways better than the missiles I'm using now, but they are uh, more in production, that's why I'm not using them at the moment. Okay, a lot more in production, about twice as expensive. Uh, right, so there's destroyers. Let's bring those two there. I think one of them might have taken a tiny bit of damage, so I should really bring it back to uh, on the planet uh, to repair. Okay. Right, come back up there. Right. I probably can't afford anything. So, next turn. I'm tempted to wait for that outpost to be finished before moving down there, but I'm not sure if I will. Okay. Right. Definitely wait till those come now. Right. Um, I could upgrade to the Dauntless if I go there with the fleet, but I don't think I'll do that. Uh, there's a civil transport finished here, We're down to 6 population but that's going up still um robo miners oh did I forget that last one, I should have added that on the list on some places uh, production 2 I I'm going to get the colonial revenue first in there actually Okay. Right, I think I'm gonna have to uh, maybe spend a minute figuring out where I want to stick those. Uh, the civil transport actually reached there. Let's get up to two. Right. Probably bring that over here. I have to scout. Should want to have any weapons? So, don't matter. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. If I'm going near to that radiation shield tech, then I really need to get a colony ship out to colonize that soon. Let's run out over there. Okay, right. I'm gonna take a minute out there and figure out where to stick those robo miners in the list.
Okay, stick some in the build queue, so some planets like Yarn 5 and Menta Prime. Also, that uh, Sakura world would be great if I could get one in a bit. But uh, it's going to be a while before I make some of them. Uh, let's end the turn anyway. So, next turn, I've got a big decision about whether or not I bring those down. And a leader has leveled up again. So, this guy's got population growth of 40% uh, now, which is wicked. Uh, right, so he's in that system. Maybe I should be colonizing more up there then. There's another couple of planets up there. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? Okay. So... Yeah, I need to get another colony ship out, don't I? I've kind of forgotten about that. Uh, where to then? Robot miners there, robot miners there. Uh, here really, isn't it? I need to get them out. Since it grows so quickly. Let's start on our colony ship. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Right. Uh, Yarn Prime grew. Okay. Yeah, it's growing really freaking quick because of him. Uh, Destroyer was completed on Menta. Nice. So, right, starting on Robo Miners there. Uh, yeah. I uh, could do with a population point coming out of here, actually. Let's get that built first. Right, let's not wait. Us waste. Let's not waste our population growth. Um, Robo Miners there. Yeah, this one's growing freaking crazy. I'll we'll probably have to get colony ships out here pretty regularly. Hydroponic farm. Okay, let's get uh, biosphere, is it? Yeah, I think I need the food here quite a bit. Alright, let's have a word with the sacra then, if it's possible. No, it's not. Right, how good is that? Oh wow, that is pretty good, isn't it? That would be nice to capture. Probably, I guess the main fleet is going to be near to the capital, that's usually the case. So if I start bringing my fleet down here, yeah, might be near to whatever they have. Uh, the current situation, if you're wondering, farmies, it's that, so I'm a long way behind. But uh, production will be coming in soon, I might even be able to make some cruises. Okay, so I'm going to bring that fleet down then. Cruiser there. It'd be nice to run into some lone ships like that uh, on the way instead of a huge fleet. Okay, uh, that destroyer. Let's bring it over there. Gonna want to get jump gate tech at some point, but uh, I'm well away from it yet. Right. Can't even remember what this is now. Scanner. Right. Uh, civilian transport here. Let's bring it down to there, is it? Okay, maybe even we'll buy that colony ship. Perhaps, I'm not sure yet. Right, let's end the turn. My friend, I come to you with the most splendid proposition. I could get this off them earlier then, but I don't think it's that great. It's a shotgun type gun, which I don't really like all that much. It's 60 damage, but each... Yeah, it's like five rounds on the shotgun. 
It's the armor penetration. It's got armor penetration, which I'm not sure every weapon type has, but uh, there are shields that negate damage, oh, and since each shot does less, taking much more off it. Yeah, I can wait. Turn it down. So let's get the movement down. Right, looks like we've just found their fleet. So, 193 attack power. Minus 174. At the moment, my fleet might be able to take that out, but there's an outpost there, there's a cruiser behind it. I don't think I'm realistically going to be able to attack that. Uh, the reason why that's not colonized actually is because there's a monster down there, which I'd... Uh, well, obviously I'd found the monster before, but I'd forgotten about it being there. Um, yeah, I really can't do an off. Well, they when I reach there, actually, they may attack my fleet. So, yeah, that's problematic, to say the least. That's why I didn't really want to bring it down this long distance before knowing what was there, but I felt I had to. Right, threatening fleets, space dragon, uh, that grew yet again. I actually have to watch for pollution here a bit now. Uh, maybe have a couple per turn. Right. Okay. Hydroponic farm. Right. Let's get up. Cloning. Center next. 25% growth rate. Definitely helps. Probably want to get. Well, actually, next population at this tank's level is on strike, so it's not so important to get that population up quickly. Uh, right, this factory, I want to get that up there quickly to make a outpost. Protect it from that direction a bit. Uh, I've got a bit of money. I don't think I'm going to buy anything. Let's. Try it again now. Okay, let's end the turn. That's not good. They just got a cruiser down to there. I think the Galactic get News tanked. Network. And now the state of the galaxy. Current rankings of diplomatic affinity. Another destroyer. Two to five, five for one. Yes, yeah, problematic. Uh, okay. Let's have a word. Okay, no dice. Advanced data center is built here. Let's get the robo miners in next. So science is going to be good here. Should I want to get it up? Uh, yeah, I need more population. Now. Uh, that destroyer over there and. Starting to get a decent amount of money. I may do a loan deal with the humans coming up in a bit, in a few turns' time after I've done some trades. There's nothing absolutely crucial which I need to buy, I think. Uh, unless I need to uh, buy a ton of ships all of a sudden coming up. Right, so let's end the turn. I don't want them to attack there. That's probably one turn distance.
Well, they didn't attack there. But, uh, yeah, look at all these ships. If there's 50 attack power, 130. Yeah, they got a lot. So, my fleet, if they get organized and actually sent them my way, well, uh, there'd be a huge battle, put it that way. I do have star bases which would kill more of their ships, so yeah, we're pretty evenly matched, but they're arguably a bit they're stronger. I certainly can't take the uh battle to them up here yet. Although maybe I could uh Well they're vulnerable, but if I bring it over there they could come up there, so that's not gonna work out for me. Okay, I think we've made an outpost there now, which is great. Let's get that uh, post up there. Yeah, soon I can get my production up though and start making some cruises and then get better weapon types so I can catch up. Planets wise, we're pretty similar now. There's a threatening fleet there. There. There, supposedly. And there. Tachyon physics research completed. Even without me, our scientists have made a new discovery. So that's why we can see a lot more all of a sudden. I've got a shitload more command points now, so I've got room to make a f quite a few cruises coming up. When I've got production. Controller! Our labs are staffed and ready to start researching. What should we focus on? Right, let's uh, get that radiation shield for that colony near us, I think. What else is it over here? Oh, the jump gate is this way. I may actually want to come up here before coming back down there. Yeah, so that's nine turns. Okay, uh, right. What I think I'm going to do is take a minute out to update that. Okay, I've updated the build. This is a couple of buildings I had to stick in there. Not as much as I thought, actually. Right, let's get this fleet back up here then. Where an outpost has been made. I've got another destroyer coming down. Okay, I could upgrade them to the Dauntless uh, in a bit. If I really have to if they decide to come up here. That space factory, let's bring that to here, shall we? And start on that. Okay. Uh, that's civil transport. There's one reached there. Let's load that. Uh, a few turns away from that, actually. Could I? Uh, I don't know if I got by it. Right. That. Well, that's making a colony. Let's bring that up here for that one then. Okay. And I think that's it for the turn. So, next turn. Okay. Right, they brought a fleet down there, but uh, too late for them. I think that they connect actually, which I hadn't realized. They seem to move between each other. Right, let's move back then. Still got sight to that, which is great. That sight tech, which I got recently, is really very, very helpful. Can I? Yeah, I can see up here now as well. Wow, uh, missions got colonizing recently. Uh, diplomacy, let's have a word. I'll try to. Nope, not happening. Mentor grew. Okay. Pirates. Where are my pirates? Right. Uh, I can come up here. Right. Destroy and come there. Yeah, 
think that's great. Next turn. Right, a couple of trade deals to do at least this turn. Maybe loan some money. More colony ships, not good. Ooh, is that light blue? There you go. I think there might be a minor race in there. So the Illyrians got down there somehow. Must be through wormhole or something. Uh, look, that's light blue as well now. So they've also got down there. Yeah, these are really vulnerable whenever I'm able to go after them. Those guys are at war with the Dalok as well, actually. So... That would be a great opportunity since I probably can't trade with both of them. But, um. Yeah, we're busy with the Sacker, aren't we? Right, Aldax. Okay, let's, uh. Get that up and focus more on the population. Okay. Wife Sphere's over here. Right, that can now make that, is it? Okay. Uh, let's see what transport we've got there. Right. Uh, okay, right, I'm going to take a minute out to do some trade deals. Okay, I'm going to do a big loan deal with the humans as soon as nothing which I desperately need to buy currently. So if I do this, I'm going to make back nearly uh, twice my investment. It's uh, one annual tribute for 12 credits and I get 20 back after 20 turns. So yeah, that should work out pretty well. It's Hopefully. always a pleasure doing we end up war, business with you. And within that time though, I'm not gonna Farewell, make a friend. profit depending on when it happens, it's highly unlikely. I'd already done a trade deal with them, so that was 281 billion credits. At some point the trade deal with the merchants had actually went out and I hadn't realised it, so I had to loan them money and they wanted twenty credits per annual tribute, so that was uh risky doing them that, but I will make a profit on the trade deal eventually. Making a fortune now, actually. And the Illyrians and the Dalok, both of them, well, if I uh, ask for an audience, <gasps> both of them have it? insufficient funds. They've basically wasted their economy on something. So I can't do a trade deal because they don't have any money. But, uh, yeah, luckily that loan deal will give us some extra money coming up, I guess. We're making a lot per turn. Uh, as you can see all the details there. Right, I believe that's it for the turn notes. Let's get going again.